Hi guys, Irish Trekkie here bringing you a little video featuring some old models that I recently <coughs> rediscovered um, in a storage box. Uh, the Thunderbird 2 models. Uh, one is the original style Thunderbird which is on the left hand side and this is the newer incarnation of Thunderbird 2 on the right hand side from the most recent release there. Uh, 2002, not two, 2004, 2006, I think it was. Um, which one, firstly, do you think wins the Lux race? Um, not going, not sure. I think the original one for me, um, the classic one, always loved Thunderbirds. Um, if you don't know what that is, definitely YouTube Thunderbirds or see if you can pick it up anywhere. It's just such a classic action film series there and um, kind of um puppets and action and just absolute just awesomeness uh when i was growing up as a kid it predates me but um i still uh, enjoyed it when i was growing up and uh, not too too old but uh yeah so i just thought i'd throw these guys up uh do a little video uh, see what you thought um some of the original one is incomplete Um, it did come with the submersible as well but um, I don't have that yet I'm sure I'll come across that um, in the next while and if so I'll, I'll do a complete review of that but um, yeah I just wanted to kind of compare the two Um, they both have certain qualities that are awesome Um, but yeah, yeah it's pretty cool so uh, we see here we have uh, two little accessories with the more modern um, model here so we have um the pink which was originally a rolls royce but then in the movie was a ford uh limousine from um one of the characters and then we have the yellow submersible with the action arms on it so both of those can fit inside and go up into the storage bay of uh, either of them actually but um let's have a quick look at the original one so here we are with the Thunderbird 2, the original model. So uh, nice paint applications here. Uh, nice original shade of green with the decals on it, Thunderbird 2. Now this is worn very well. Um, got this, I think, uh, early 2000, so there or thereabouts. So um, a good bit before the actual movies came out. Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, you have an action button along the front here, which would produce audio from the slits here if I can show you there um, but I have yet to change the battery on that um, you've nice rolling wheels and you can see some recessed legs along here as well uh, going back down to the engine compartment um, again not too much detail I don't think those screws were in the original one uh, you have action buttons on the side to allow you to trigger the legs which is pretty cool very stable and then if you pull the back trigger you give access to the actual storage compartment. Um, in the TV show, you had a different number of ones of these ones with submersibles, ones with drilling, and so on and so forth. Every type of rescue equipment that the Thunderbirds needed to carry out their um, missions, pretty much. Um, in the series, you would have had a number here, and this never did, so it didn't wear down. And um, the overall wear and tear has been very minimal on this particular model. So pretty, pretty happy with that. Um, again, yeah, great, great toy, great model. You know, it's nice to have Thunderbirds collection um, at all. I don't know if you guys do like Thunderbirds, but um, I always had a, a fondness for it. Um, as a kid growing up, pretty awesome show to kind of watch. Um, not too many issues with it, to be honest with you. It's not the highest quality. It's not the highest detail model as well. Uh, you see there's a slight bit of weakness here on the underneath where... The edges have just start to kind of fray out, but again, that's well, well going to handle itself. Like it's it's not going to break anytime soon at all. And again, the paint application has held its time. Like you know, it's now twenty fourteen. Like so, fourteen years of display and playing, and you know, just pretty much, you know, used. Like so, it's pretty cool. It hasn't been in an airtight cabin or anything like that. But um, pretty cool model, pretty cool model. So let's have a look at the uh, newer style version of it. So here we have the reimagined Thunderbird 2. And um, this is from the film 
um, I think released around 2004 or 2006, I think 2004. should do my research a little bit better when I do these videos. Um, again, similar genealogy in the design, but a bit of a departure all the same as well. Um, so the all, the all too familiar uh, stubby wings are more towards the rear of it, uh, along with the engine intakes as well. But you still have the crossbar, which is slightly warped over time um, in this particular model. But uh, yeah, a nice, e equally nice ship as well. So you have, again, good paint applications, very little wear on this really as well. Uh, you have Thunderbirds 2. Um, nice little bit of detail here. You have the engines there, the uh, vertical takeoff engines. And uh, you can see your carriage and your hidden legs here, not so hidden. Um, nice engine compartment on it as well. But you see that slight bit of warp. But Bit of give and take, it is an older uh, model, again it wasn't kept pristine in box or anything like that. But the level of detail is pretty okay on it. Again, you're not going to be seeing nuts and bolts or anything like that as well. Um, unlike the previous model, um, the engine compartment does come down but you have an action button here. So if you push that, you can see the engine compartment opens which is pretty cool. It's got some nice detailing uh, along the sides there, some kind of machined panels. And the door opens up fairly easily as well. Um, there's no action trigger for the legs, so you just literally pull them down and they click into place, as you may be able to hear. There we go. And that's her on her four legs. So if you pop that down, you can see they have it has a nice action there for it to actually open up the ramp. Now this came with two uh, kind of mini figs. Um, you had the lovely pink limousine, and you had the yellow submersible. So the pink limo. So this was a, a car designed by Ford. Uh, again, for the size of it, they put a lot of detail in here. There's no rotating wheels. It's just a solid piece, um, but painted very well. Uh, you see the Ford symbol along the back there. So uh, pretty. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it, but it is part of the movie, so it was it was okay to see. Um, you have the yellow submersible as well, so this got a pretty decent redesign from the original one. Um, sorry, now that I don't have that to show you. So that was Thunderbird Four. That was actually a standalone Thunderbird. So you had one, which was the Rocket Two, uh, Thunderbird Three was the Space Rocket, I believe. Could be wrong on that. Correct me if I am. Thunderbird 4 was the submersible, and Thunderbird 5, I think, was the space station. Um, but yeah, so you have your action arms. This is worn very well, to be honest with you. I uh, hope it's coming through on the light. The lighting's getting pretty bad here at the moment. Um, not so much detail uh, in it, but just because the size of it. But uh, it's a nice little um, action set all together when you see them side by side. So they do fit in here. Um, I think both of them actually fit in here if you want. So if you don't lose them, click them up. Ready to rumble. So what do you think of them, guys? Um, they're okay. They're, they're interesting models. I like them. Um, big difference in the design when you see them side by side. Uh, color is a massive thing. and um, But you can still see the kind of similarities between them you know ones like you know the father and the son you know the the evolution of design or the grandfather and the son maybe but um yeah pretty nice models uh, there would have been a whole plethora of the original one um die cast models i've seen as well so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that little video um not too feature packed i didn't want to kind of overload you guys with uh dates and shipping amounts and all that kind of jazz just a fun little video there so again i hope you did like it um let me know in the comments below which one do you prefer and um, old versus new um what are your thoughts on thunderbirds in general you know um is thunderbird 2 even on your to-do list like you know is it something that you do like would you prefer thunderbird 1 or Thunderbird 4 or 5 or even Thunderbird 3. Uh, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And be sure to like, favorite and subscribe if you did like the video. Your support is much appreciated. And if you want, uh, 
feel free to leave me a message on Facebook or hit me up on Instagram there. Um, I try to put up as uh, pictures more often than I do videos. But uh, otherwise, thanks for watching and I have been Irish Trekkie. Take it easy guys. Bye. Thank you.